What happens to your body when you eat a hot pepper? Let's look at this claim and the rest of what happens inside your body when you crunch into a spicy pepper. From that first wave of heat splashing across your tongue and lips, to the long-term effects of a regular pepper habit. Immediate effects. In the first moments after you bite into a hot pepper, you're experiencing a direct hit of the compound capsaicin. Capsaicin makes your eyes water and your tongue feel a flame, and the more of it a pepper has, the hotter it tastes. Scientists measure the capsaicin content of peppers using the Scoville scale, the world's hottest known pepper, the Carolina Reaper, earns a Scoville rating over 2 million chew. Most of us never wish to try these nuclear hot peppers, but may enjoy a milder but still spicy fruit like the jalapeno, which averages somewhere around 5,000 shu. Delayed effects. While that burning sensation in your mouth might feel unpleasant at first, capsaicin exposure soon causes your brain to signal an endorphin release to combat the pain. This in turn can relieve pain in other parts of the body, which is why naturopathic doctors sometimes prescribe hot peppers to relieve arthritic pain and the inflammation of psoriasis. You can even purchase capsaicin cream to apply directly to the skin to help relieve painful conditions like diabetic neuropathy, trigeminal neuralgia, cluster headaches and shingles. This cream sometimes burns slightly at first, then brings relief. If you're eating your peppers, don't be surprised if you experience some indigestion shortly afterwards. The capsaicin can irritate the tissues in your throat and stomach, much like it irritates your mouth. These effects usually dissipate within an hour. Long-term effects. After the initial heat fades, and you ride out the endorphin rush that follows, hot peppers influence your body in other, more lasting ways as potent sources of vitamin C, beta-carotene and flavonoids, hot peppers support immune health, and scavenge the free radicals that can cause cell damage and ultimately cancer. While research is still preliminary, studies suggest that hot peppers can induce prostate and lung cancer cell suicide. Most impressively, a massive study published in the BMJ found that increasing consumption of spicy foods reduces the risk of all-cause mortality among people aged 30 to 79. That's something to celebrate. Perhaps with a chomp into a habanero pepper. If your taste buds are up to the challenge, go ahead with caution. But if you're a hot pepper lover in training, you might consider starting with milder peppers like Anaheim, Serrano or Poblano varieties. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.